Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here. And with me, I have David, Stewart, and Jaden. Welcome, Ooh. everybody. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, hello. All right. Who wants to introduce themselves first? David. David's got the YouTube uh, channel. All right, David. Sounds like you want to go first. I'm eating cheese, its motherfucker. All right. That was David. Cheese it. Go <laughs> <laughs> straight to the. Yeah, straight to the point. Jaden over here is having a stroke. It's okay. And that was Jaden. I'm kidding. And next up, we have Jaden. Again? Do you have Jaden again? No. All right. Jaden was broken last minute and is currently building a team for our time to go block. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Stuart. I thought you were going to say Jaden yeah. again. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> you should have. It would have been funny. And now we have Jaden. No, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Jaden, uh, slippery snake that he is, we are going to talk about Arbok. Yeah, Arbok. Such a slippery snake. <laughs> Yeah, he's cool with us until he's on David's team. Then he likes to talk shit. So. You getting fucked? Wait. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Arbok abilities: intimidate, shed skin, and unnerve. Typing poison with the stats of HP 60, attack 95, defense 69, special attack 65, special defense 79, and speed 80. Where do we begin with this Pokemon? Uh, I mean, we can start with what I said just before we came on air. Um, I looked at Arbok's stats and thought, holy, what a very underwhelming Pokemon. Like, the seat is about as good as it gets for him. Um, there's not really much more to say. He's, he's quick, but... Just a barrier. Yeah. He's not even quick. That's what I think that's again. No. His best status is attack at 95. Yeah. He's embarrassingly bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Uh, he, he's the inspiration it's... for that great 90s. Uh, uh... He's the greatest victim of Power Freeze series. Back in the day, these these stats would, would probably would have been pretty good, but it's just not kind of cut it in any any format. Yeah, 80 speed is not great, especially in Gen 1. And then 95 attack is good. But the move pool he had in Gen 1 was gar hot garbage. Um, just comparing him to the Gen 3 counterpart, the Viper, uh, at least the Viper you could had a base 100 attack and special attack and base 100. So you could have a... It, the Viper was a bit slower, but you could have a um, trick room variant, or you could have you know, some kind of... You know, some kind of Unpredictability about the life of being whether he's going to be a physical or special. It at least has some power and mystique mm. to it. Yes. Mystique. Arbok. Uh, just to sort of pile in on it. Yeah. It's just trash. Not, it's not a great player, come on. You gotta give it. Its design is pretty sleek for a Gen 1 Pokemon, huh? Yes. Absolutely. And um, I like its abilities. Its abilities are all pretty cool. Um, but the move pool, the stat space, it leaves a lot to be desired. And fun fact about Arbok as well, um, they had like this minor tweak to it that each uh, each region had a different base on it on its uh, body. Depending on what oh, really? region it was from. Oh, well, I've seen that. Oh, yeah. So that was pretty cool. My, fa my favorite episode was when he evolved from Ekans <laughs> on the anime. Ekans is hot garbage. He couldn't even beat a Caterpie. Yeah. But then Jesse and James cried on, cried on them and Ekans evolved. 
and it was all happy. That was a weird way to evolve the. I do wonder if um if Team Rocket would have a bit more success in catching Pikachu if they didn't have survival, if they didn't have Arbok on the team. I mean, they had Survivor and they still did trash. I mean, Survivor's not a lot better, but he's better than Arbok. True. Yeah, what if they had Wobbuffet, you know? Wobbuffet would have been brilliant. Well, you know, if they... <laughs> if they were... Ash, focus Ash, Sonny. There it goes. Bang. Flopping. Ash and Pikachu. You know, if they were smart, they would have had a Rhydon and, like, a Sandslash. Knowing they wanted an Electric-type boat. But I guess not. No. No. That's too easy. Too easy. Well, have y'all ever used an Arba in a playthrough of any kind? Um, I'm kind of sure I have. I, I, I also don't no, not to my knowledge. Pokemon. I generally don't use poison types, and it's not like, for any particular reason. I, I, um, I'm not a particularly big fan of the poison type. Um, it always might cause a bit of controversy because I know a lot of people like poison type Pokemon. Um, I've never, I've only ever seen, like, this is speaking from, from like, you know, monotype experience. I've only ever seen one person perform extremely well with poison only team, and they were very good at Pokemon generally. Um, they were very good at poison types, but I was back in Gen 7, and they got, poison got very nerfed, I think, in Gen 8. But yeah, well, I, I rolled for number one for poison types. What about you, David? And David is no longer with us. Oh, no, no. David's still smashing down his cheeses. <laughs> he muted himself, so <laughs> we can't hear him crunching. <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. David said, fuck our buck. I'm on about these cheeses right now. Communicating with Captain Crunch. And obviously, our buck <laughs> did have a lot of uh, anime inspiration. Inspiration? Whatever. Um... What is y'all's favorite anime moment with our buck? I told you already. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fact. You're right. Uh, did he ever end up choking out Pikachu at all? Yeah, I think uh, I mostly, I'm when it first evolved. Watch the anime. I think when it first evolved, they they kind of put the beat down on Pikachu and had to get saved by Misty. Yeah. I don't know. It's a very forgettable like Pokemon. Yeah. Very forgettable. I mean, outside, I mean, outside the um, anime, um, yeah, very forgettable. Um, I think the most moving, one of the most moving Pokemon scenes is with Darbok, and Stuart can elaborate on that one. The, where Jesse and James sacrifice Weasling and Arbok, say, hey, you've got to go get out of here. Well, I don't know, they like, sacrifice themselves, right? <laughs> They really wanted. I think to you'll find that it was coughing and echoes. Hey. I think you'll find that it was coughing and echoes. Coughing and echoes. Coughing and echoes. Isn't that when they evolved? I think he's talking about when they released them into the wild. Oh, at the very end. I see. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. uh, they. You now. I understand. If they didn't, they were gonna die from battle or something. Yeah. Because they're firing off the or something, weren't they? <laughs> something like that. You would think Arbok would have just ate the rat, Rattata, and Raticate. But, mm. you know. I guess Pokemon doesn't make sense after a while. Because, I mean, even in the Pokedex, it says it eats rodents and Pidgeys. So, it would have made sense. Yeah. To let Arbok just go ham on those Pokemon. But, uh, yes, it's very forgettable. It's a great word for it, unfortunately. <laughs> Our buck is very for such a po- for, for a Pokemon that was in almost every episode in the anime for a long time. It's it's forgettable. Yeah, when you look to a poison, <laughs> when you look to poison types, <laughs> Our buck isn't the first thing. No, that's right. No. It's just a shame, really, because um, <laughs> Our buck's just sitting there. There's only just been left alone, and now we're bringing up just a big, a big pylon on him. 
He's not doing that alone, poor guy. <laughs> um, but uh, Atkins, before it evolved into Arbok, did have one of the most uh, inspiring things of any Pokemon to say when they were on that island and they didn't they lost their trainers or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, Atkins was the one to say, Poke- there's no evil Pokemon, only evil masters or some shit like that. Something like that, yeah. That's right. I remember. When uh, Bulbasaur and Squirtle were getting drunk and wanting to fight each other. <laughs> but alright guys, did y'all have... Did y'all got any memorable battles with Arbok? I know y'all haven't used them in a playthrough, but I'm sure y'all had to use it at some point. Um... Beating Jesse down in Pokemon Yellow would be about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's probably probably bad for me as well. Like, I'm just trying to think back on a lot of the random battles that I use that I play in um, Pokemon Showdown. And yeah, again, nothing really speaks out to me about you know the type of. No, I've never actually really used it. Not either. All right. Well, my most memorable battle is what's gonna happen against you guys tonight in this podcast so everyone stay when tuned for that the, <laughs> you get knocked out in uh, the first round right. right. I probably will now alright guys well we're gonna go ahead and get to the battle so we'll be right back with that alright now we're gonna go ahead and get these battles started we're leading off with the battle from down under we got GS down under. <laughs> Didn't even notice it was that. We got GS down under versus GS dude up. GS down under the team. Battle is... of the Pacific. Huh? The Battle of the Pacific, mate. The Battle With of the Pacific. Right. The Tasman Sea. It's the turning point of World War II right now. Hang on, no, no, no. We want, I want the fucking Pavlova on the table, man. Pavlova. Whoever wins gets the Pavlova. <laughs> No, <laughs> you already have you already have Russell Crowe. Now you want Pavlova? What the hell? Look, look, I mean, I'll give you Russell Crowe so you can have the Pavlova. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got GS Down Under's team with Arbok, Aerodactyl, Cacturn, Alakazam, Bickleball, and Darmanadan. GS Two Dogs team with Arbok, Sableye, Zerudada, Zerudada. All right. Slurpuff, Agron, and Talonflame. Let's get this party started. Did you not watch the movie with that as a root? No, oh. I didn't. I, I'll have to watch it now so I can get it. I can understand what it means. GS Down Under goes ahead and leaves off against with Darmanitan versus Cake Snack, the GS Stew Dog Pokemon. And. Cake Snack goes for the sticky webs as Darmanitan fires off that flare blitz that takes it down to 4%. I'm so dirty about that. I'm oh, devastated. I'm right, devastated right, that that happened. Oh, I had not watched that. Huh? Hey. <laughs> that's, that's ruined everything. That did. Never mind. You literally had a sash with only 4% left, right? Correct. Darmanitan oh. finishes off that slur puff with the flare blitz. And what will Stu Dog send out now? Um, everything dies to this. That's what the problem is. That's where, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Fire Snake. All of them are gonna have Snake behind the name. Darmanitan versus Fire Snake. What happens here? Let me guess, Stuart, your team's all Snakes because our box on it? Yeah. How'd you guess? Give me Dog Max, very creative. We can max in this, right? Yeah, just not your legs. Yeah. That's fucking bonkers. Bonkers. 
And we have a stare down between the fire types. <laughs> What's the matter, Oh trainer? no. I thought he was banded. Oh, Darmanitan maxes, and so does Fire Snack. Max Airstream goes oh, off no. against Darmanitan. I can't be going faster. Down. I don't know, I was faster. I'm dead. And Max Rockfall <laughs> oh, destroys oh, Fire shit. Snack. To know it's faster. Starts the sandstorm. And GS Down Under is up six to four at this moment. And not a snack, the Sableye comes in for GS Two Dog. And what will happen here? Max Flare into Not a Snake, and Foul Play takes out that Darmanitan. So both Dynamaxes have been used. Pickleball comes in for GS Down Under, and Not a Snake is sitting there at 21%, wondering what will Vickabolt do. Not a snake goes for recover. And Vickabolt went for sticky web. And I can't hear anyone else. All right, everyone went quiet for a minute. Everyone still here? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Just like sing on. Yeah. It's Jerry from here. All right. So a few Stelly things snake. happened. Uh, Snack went with Lewis. Alakazam came in. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. I'm the most embarrassing worst person ever in the history of the planet. Stelly Neck comes in <laughs> on the dazzling gleams, and Stelly Snack stays in as Cat Turn comes in. Stelly Neck. Stelly Snack. <laughs> up all. Stelly Snack. And Heavy <laughs> slams into Cat Turn. <laughs> Cacturn at How embarrassing. Speed. What will it do now? Cacturn goes spiky shield, but nothing happens due to the switching. Not a snake goes for the Oh, you're a dark type. You're a dark type. No, oh, dark type. Encore does not work due to the dark typing. Cacturn gets that Giga Drain off. All right, Giga Drain into the Monka Snake that comes in for Sableye. And Monka Snake oh. goes for U-Turn and Cat Turn goes down. That four times weakness to Bug did not do it a service there. It was the face off of the Grass Dark Types, you see. the matter, trainer? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use. Pickleball comes back in as teams are now 4-4. Four to four. Not a snake is sitting at 6% though. <laughs> Useless snake <laughs> comes in <laughs> with the Intimidate. As Vickavolt goes for the bolt switch, leaving Useless Snake at 30%. <laughs> and Arbot comes in to face off against his arch rival, Useless Snake. <laughs> Both Snake seems pretty useless right now. And Arbot goes for oh. Glare, as Useless Snake goes for Hydro Vortex. And takes Arbok down to 33%. So both snakes are at about 30%. Useless oh snake. man, that's just... Oh, that's, that's rubbish right there. That's salad berry rubbish. Useless Unbelievable. snake gets paired as Arbok gets up the sub. And uses a salac berry to get the speed boost. What's gonna happen now? Oh, you oh, snake gets paired once again as Arbok gets up with oil. 
whatsoever. Can Arbok beat Unbelievable. Useless Snack? Useless Snack goes down to a poison jab while Arbok is sitting at 8%. Zaru Dada, Monkey Snake, comes in. And Arbok goes for the poison jab and down uh. goes M- Monkey Snake. Oh, this. The sticky web. How was I? I was like, how am I slower? (laughs) Oh my god. Steely Snack is coming in, and the tides have turned back into GS Down Under Saver. As Arbok goes for a para, and Earthquake breaks the sub on Arbok. Steely Snack is gonna put the hammer down. Stupid Stelly Snack. I have nothing for this. Arbok goes coil once again, and Heavy Slam takes down the Arbok. That wasn't as useless as... You could have said that before I stacked the rest of my team. Hey? (laughs) You could have told me you had nothing for it, um, (laughs) like, ages ago. That would have been great. Dickable comes in against Steely Snack. It goes for a bolt switch. Who will he switch into here? And will the para come into effect? And the oh para comes into effect on Steli Snack. <laughs> Psychic oh. goes off and Steli Snack is paired once again. And Stu Dog is throwing his computer across the living room. And it is all over oh, well. for Stu Dog here. Good, good work, GG. 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 Love to have over. GS Down Under got the win versus the Stu Dog. Now it's time like for me the, uh, versus in that game. Peacemaker. Can't believe I've got Paris so many times. Can't believe it. Oh well, it is what it is. The Clyde got off my um. My endeavors, then it would have been a different story. It was, unless you had something scarfed, it would have been all over. <laughs> all right, Jaden or Stuart, go ahead and announce this battle. Yep, give me two seconds. I'm just going to send the battle link to you. All right. David. Are you there? Going to King's Island. No. <clears throat> Let's get it. Oh shit! Hold on. For some reason, my thing went out again. David's last two is Chandelure and Tharos, Arachnid, and Thor. Right. You! Just get it! No. Oh, Mega Ampharos, good choice. I was going to use Zygarde 10%, but it's the one that I couldn't use because I was already using the root. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Hey? Come on, Joe. I was debating on what Pokemon I wanted to use. Oh, what the hey. fuck? Oh, Krogonal. Krogonal comes out first for Joe in one of the baby ops for the Aerodactyl lead. The nickname. The nickname. Oh, I don't know if like, Krogonal's. Going to enjoy the Stone Edge very much. I don't know at all. Yeah, a few options if you go here. Watch him go for a self rock. Oh, so oh, he oh, got cut for sure out. right there. Oh, absolutely. Aerodactyl, this is the chance to, to get a little bit of chip on Agron. Oh, uh, and David predicts the um, Bill's Water Mines. And that's gonna taunt off first. Damn it, David. 
But now that Agron is locked into using attacking moves, you don't like the chances of Aerodactyl staying in on this on any attack coming out. Here comes this heavy slam that's going to crush everything. And blasting off comes in. Oh, he's very on. Also switches in. Oh, he took the ball. What a nice fire. Wow, so he goes for the shell smash. That's boosted. And the white hair activates. That's boosted. Oh, and Joe goes for a yawn. He is not. He is tired of David's games. Rick Flair, Eon. <laughs> and to add insult to injury, Flareon has protected through the scold from blasting off. Rick Flareon has protected through the scold of blasting off. <laughs> Superpower. Wow. He's a pro. Wow. <laughs> Rick Flareon superpowers into blasting off and taking 82% damage. Rick Flareon's up to the figure four here. Oh no! Oh, Blastoise breaks through! He mm -hmm. breaks out of the figure four. <laughs> oh no. What do I do? Does the slide got heavy speed. Does the slide got heavy speed. It do not. Does not. This is gonna be, this is gonna be me when I face Morgan. Oh, God. Momentum has suddenly shifted in David's favour. Can he make the most of it? <laughs> Passing off and holds off so the Aggron is coming. They're facing off against each other. Why do you only sleep Wait, for one dude. turn? Come on. <laughs> Waiting for the trainers to make a move. Blasting off, Skyder Max. He goes for the Max. Oh, Max Blastoise. <laughs> oh no! The rain is set, oh. speed is squashed. You have to imagine the blast toys take it from here. And buckle with me, the shuttle. He's come onto the field. Do the and counter, counter. Final gambit. Oh. He, he had no, he had no, no HP. He had no <laughs> HP. Oh. I didn't think about oh. that. Oh, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That was racing, but it was kind of anticlimactic for Shuckle to use a final game, but right at the end, he did 0% <laughs> damage to Blastoise. Oh god. Oh, critical hit! Oh, the crit! The crit! Oh. The, the critical hit on Kronagonal, who died at Max, is now <laughs> put Joe oh, Hey, David, what? David what's, the, what's the score, bro? What's the score? It's a uh, 6 0 Joe. Six O Joe. Joe is looking. All right. Joe is looking at a six O. Here we go. Well, six O Joe. Oh. You oh. got lucky. You only slept for one turn, you bastard. Oh no! Blast toys. Busted toys. I was blasting off and again. Even though this show is about Arbos, uh, Blast toys has stolen the show, but it's not exactly that hard to do with an Arbos. Juicy Joe. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> was it the was it like the was it the Pidgeotto? No, the Fero. Did we do a Fero one? It was very outclassed by everything else. Oh yeah, Fero was oh. horrible. Alright, now it's GS right, Down guys. Under versus Peacemaker. Yo, this is David. It's the car it's the car carnage though. We're, we're just all over this. This is, this is definitely this is very much how it's going to be in the draft. No, it's yeah, we're killing. Here we go. Listen to Every these. Listen to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to these guys jerking each other off. Although they were pretty unimpressed with your first game there, Jaden. I must say. Ooh, man, I'm the, nearly beat your best trainer with my psychic. Come on now. He's not the that guy who played okay. you isn't our best trainer, and you know it. Uh, he's supposed to be like really, really good. Yeah, he's supposed to be, but he barely beat Jaden's team. So. Is that why he talks so much trash? 
Who, me? Don't worry, Jaden. Even though you're on the opposition, we stood up for you. Both of us. Yeah, I told them not to let you draft that team. <laughs> and then they were like, oh, he's a fucking scrub using all psychic types. And I was like, no, he's not. <laughs> they really never tell the scrub for using all your psychic. Yeah, they got like, That's they, li- they literally got mad at me for saying that you were really good with psychic types. They were like, don't come at me saying this shit. It's like, dude, he's good with psychic types. Oh, that's all right. I'll have to be we were like, we were saying, fucking draft Cresselia, draft us, and then no one would, do, no one was doing it. So there you go. That's why I said to Jesse, Jesse, can you at least draft Mew, please, please draft Mew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so dirty, guys. We're waiting on you two guys to start the battle. We have oh, some. Stone Edge. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, David's thing yeah. wasn't updating. I was going off that one. Yeah, I went through Jaden's. Um, right. Alakazam and Mega Ampharos are both out of the field already. Get Cucked is sitting at 72% as Arbok comes onto the field. He's also double speed thanks to the Tailwind. Here comes Arbok. Eric Asher comes in on Satan himself. Oh, what a switch. What a switch. Why isn't Chandelure moving? What? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> what was his sprite moving? What's going on? It's that 20 second plate <laughs> bandwidth. You didn't see it. Right. <laughs> no one knows mm. what we were talking about between, between cuts. Satan himself we'll just say how bad American Shadow internet Ball. is compared to the rest of the world. Aerodactyl goes for the Stealth Rock. Stealth Rocks, man. Now he, sh- now he should be faster. Now he should be faster. Unless it's a scarfed. No. Ball. Oh, oh, Satan oh, himself gets sketch. crit. <laughs> he sent him to the Shadow Realm. He was gone. Aerodactyl versus blasting off. Does this be the turning point? Oh, dual oh, wing no. man! Oh, 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 and Blastoise oh, gets oh, off the shelf with the wider. How does that feel, Jaded? <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Can you I'm imagine going... how good dual wing boot would be if it was 100? Oh, percent dual wing boot would be so good if it was 100. percent I say that because I'm uh, uh, when we were practicing all those dual wing beats, I missed. Not because you were talking shit about Blastoise beating my team. I have class. All right, blasting off versus Vickavolt. Four O J. Oh, ah shit, this is not going good. Just max your cactus and hope it survives. Just max it and hope it survives. Oh, he's throwing cactus into the wolves. Oh, water absorb. Ooh. Oh. oh, 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 oh. The race. Oh, Cacturn maxes now and goes for the max card and Hellstorm doesn't hit. Oh shit. Can I'm pretty sure off. plus two ice beam still in the max. Oh, oh well, it survived. Ice beam does not knock it out and Cacturn is Cacturn. pulling back with Cacturn. a 3v3 right at this moment. Oh. Cacturn. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fat Venus finally makes an appearance. That being a star box is out versus Cacturn. Whose Venus is missing because it's female. Uh, Fat the, Venus goes for a shot all over Cacturn. Oh, yeah. Fat Venus is <laughs> in versus Star Medicine. Oh, yeah. Flare Blitz takes Fat oh, Venus oh, 10%. And Gunshot <gasps> almost oh, takes Star well. Medicine. But both get health back due to the grassy terrain, and Fat Venus gets that leftover. Ooh. Oh, and Fat oh, Venus goes for a sucker punch. Oh, David gets a kill oh, with Arbok. And now it's Arbok versus this Fat Venus. This is a Venus. roller coaster. What a roller coaster. Arbok goes for substitute as Fat Venus goes for Earthquake. Oh, he's going to play the uh, substitute game here. 
David has Sucker punch. this battle handily in hand. Handily in hand. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Our box goes for the coil as Fat Ooh. Man is trying to get the kill with Earthquake. Another coil for my oh, box. Oh, it's going to be a crit. And another... What you call it? The cell it comes off. Another Earthquake. Salisbury comes off, does not no, knock out no, Fat no, no. Venus, and that might be the end for oh, our Doesn't have enough. And doesn't it have is. enough. That Fat Venus was too fat, and that Poison <laughs> Jab did not get the kill. Uh, I knew it was a risk mm -hmm. one, one attack on Arbok, but I'd like to think I did the best I could with him. That's right, you did. It. You showed it off. You showed it off. All right, David, oh, what Pokemon would you like to do next? What's uh left? Pretty much everything. <laughs> we have not been good at doing these Vaporeon. in a timely manner. Vaporeon is available. Oh, let's do Vaporeon. Okay. So after we do Hitmonchan, Vaporeon will be the next Pokemon up. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Shoo, 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 shoo.